people are chained to money it's the number one prison on earth money jesus said he that laid down his life will receive it back for his sake lay down your life for my sake i'll give it back to you that's a major reason to want to lay down your life because there's a flip side to it after that he said he that holds his life will lose it so i believe someone put it a bit like this that it is a wise person that gives up what he cannot keep you've heard the expression your money or your life i don't even seen the joke where they told someone your money or your life you say take my life now what happens to the money after they've taken your life you see your hands will even be holding the money anymore your hands will willingly let go they will open by themselves it's not really an option your money or your life especially if you are with the money because why are you holding the money so you can spend it but when you have no life you can't spend the money either it is therefore a wise person that hears that if you lay down your life you will get it back that's a wise person if you give me this 5000 naira you have i'll give it back to you in fact i won't give you 5000 back I'll give you times a hundred. I'll give you five hundred thousand naira. It only makes sense to give up that thing. But if you say no, the one that says I will keep my five thousand, he's promised you you will lose it. You won't even have the five thousand in this world, in this earth now. With all the attractions we see, with all the things happening around us, with all the allurements, the opportunities available, it seems like it makes sense. To reach and grasp and hold tight everything that makes you appear better and more comfortable and all that. But the Lord Jesus promised that if you are willing to give up things for his sake, I always like to clarify. He didn't say you should give up things for the sake of giving them up, just three away things. He said for his sake. That means whenever he asks you to give up that thing, if you are willing to give it up, he promised you he'd give it back to you. It's a Jesus guarantee. It's stamped Jesus. You will get it back. Maybe not the same day. Maybe not the same year. Maybe not even the same day yet. But someday you'll get back whatever you gave to the Lord. In good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. You can't lose with God. That's the point. And of course, you know, I'm not talking about money now. Your life, that will touch your money and everything as well. That's a lesser matter. I think many Nigerians, in a sense, have learned to give up money, even though they give up money for money. But at least people have been able to even give people's money. I mean, people have given, taking their landlord's money, given as school fees, given all sorts of things have been given. So if it is giving with a mind to get him back immediately, ah, Nigerians can do it. Finances, especially, as long as there's some hope of some greater finance. God is asking for our lives. See, a man gives up his life for my sake. He said, a man's life does not consist of the things which he possesses. Therefore, your life is not your money. That's just a tiny part. That's not what it consists of. That's not the fullness of your life. You can't say, my life, you know how much I give. Mm -mm. Jesus said that a man's life does not consist of the things he possesses. So don't ever boast about something you possess and how you gave it to the Lord. And because of that, the Lord owes you. Owes you nothing. Why? Because what do you have that you were not given? So I'm really not giving anything. Just a cycle.